Dick Rochford again. We're talking now about uh, cruise tasks. And after we write down the ECTM, which is the subject of a different video, engine condition trend monitoring, we now want to consider just doing a sanity check on the fuel. Now the turbine M600 has capacitance probe fuel gauges, so they're very accurate. Now what we'll want to do is somewhere display fuel on board. That can be done there. Can also be done and say again, please, for 3622. On the GTCs. Uh, to be adjusted here. But what we want to do is just verify that the fuel on board is uh, at least close to, if not, uh, you know, exactly the same as the uh, uh, total that the tank says. The, the fuel gauge is going to be most accurate. And then from there, uh, we would uh, uh, use uh, uh, the GTCs. Uh, to uh, sync that prior to uh, uh, prior to takeoff, we can go here to payload, for example. Uh, 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 sorry, takeoff and uh, sync the fuel here. That will uh, allow us to put 1490, which is the current fuel load in this window here. Allegiance and we've reassigned these uh, marquee I mean, three, uh, data uh, points to what we want, but of course they are configurable in the GTC. Once we have the fuel on board in there, we can then observe true airspeed, ground speed, temperatures, outside air, and ISA. Uh, 2038, contact and that then computes uh, 2692, good winds aloft number for us. It also computes uh, the fuel on board then based on ground speed, current ground speed. One, two, six, we can also, of course, put the weather up here. We can select winds aloft. American 2063, we can select, in this case, we've got cloud tops. Uh, so you can see that pretty much agrees with what we see out the window. That gives us some idea of what we'll be seeing in the future on the flight. So now that we have plenty of fuel, 900 pounds out on the ground November at the destination, eight, four, whiskey, contact, we can one, two, uh, six, then have a look at uh, what weather we might want to be considering. Do we turn off the cloud tops, turn on the winds aloft? We can leave, leave that uh, all together like that for a better picture. Of course, we can zoom in. <coughs> So we have some uh, we have some headwind, but what we're finding is the Red actual winds aloft are pretty much as forecast on the, uh, on the weather display. Air Wisconsin 39.50, contact Indy Center 124.22. 124.22, Wisconsin 1232. So we can switch back and forth as much as we like. This is a little cleaner map, but we can answer any weather question we have. This particular aircraft has uh, audio and a radio telephone. So this is really quite the suite here. So we can turn on music and uh, the co-pilot, that'd be my seat, can adjust this independently. Uh, Mute settings involve things like muting uh, it with radio inputs. But if I'm a non-pilot, I don't want that to happen. I could let those uh, music come through. I can also make the music balance with the comm. So if I'm not the primary uh, listener to the radio, I can uh, dim that audio down on the comm one and uh, raise up the music. Or if I want, I can go off and get ATIS as we get a little closer to the airport, turn off the music entirely, and uh, bring these radios up. So it's pretty versatile. It's ideal, I would say. Uh, it's not just versatile, it's ideal. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.